What up everybody, it's King Kunta here again, and I'm going to bring to you another wonderful, lovingful gold farming video. Now I have taken a little bit of a break lately due to finals at uh, college, and uh, yeah, that is not a whole lot of fun. But today, we're going to teach you something that is a lot of fun, and that's how to become rich in World of Warcraft. And I know a lot of you guys are probably excited uh, at the fact that I'm even posting a video right now, because I know I've kind of taken uh, maybe a while before, but um... Hopefully, this will make you guys a little bit help or happier. So today, we're going to be farming a place for a pet and also some drops that are pretty much uh, guaranteed. Like, the drops are going to happen, the chances of them happening. The pet's a little bit slimmer, but you can actually make a decent amount of gold off of this. And this is also a way just to maybe farm this for two or three days, pick up that pet, just drop another easy 50k uh, gold back into the bank. It's quite simple, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to get through it, how to get to the location and everything about that but first I'm gonna show you what we're gonna be farming for on the auction house the current prices in my server that they are selling for and just so you know these prices can be a little bit uh, different but they're never below 20k I've looked up uh, pretty much at, on every website and information site that I can find and there's no way it's gonna be the pet is gonna sell for under 20k so most likely you're gonna you're gonna be making a decent amount of gold so we're gonna go ahead and look up the pet uh, first because that's probably the thing you guys want to know about the most so we're gonna look up the emerald whelp okay so as you can see here this is the emerald whelpling um as you can see it's going for a lot of different prices on my server of course that's the ones that are leveled all the way x uh to max right now the ones that are not as you can see these are their prices not under 20k yet and just so you know my server does sell them for a bit under what they should be selling for i've seen most servers around 45k um as the average and next, we're going to show you the item that can drop from the mobs we will be killing, which is just the green whelp scale. Sorry about the mechanical keyboard. All right, so as you can see here, these are the prices of the green whelp skills, and as you can see, they are a little insane. Now, these are used for transmog items that make uh, some pretty nice transmog, so definitely these are uh, worth it to be picked up. Also, before you do do this, the way to get the scales, you're gonna have to skin them. I'm sorry about that. You need to have skinning in your, uh, like, as one of your professions. If you haven't picked it up by now and you're a gold farmer, then I strongly urge you to do it. It's not hard to level. It'll take you like 10 minutes. It's not hard at all. But we're gonna go ahead and look up what you need. So first, it's not dank. Okay, dark moon. All right, so dark moon fire water, if I can find it is a necessity to pick up the scales so as you can see it's very cheap it's cheap on every server also bear tartar is going to be useful as well so we're going to tell you why dark moon fire water you're going to be able to skin them much faster make this much more efficient next off is going to be the bear tartar which is going to keep you running from mob to mob and you're not going to have to worry about a delay so now that i got all that all the way so you guys aren't bored we're going to go ahead and take you to the gold farm and uh, show you guys what you need to be doing where it's located i'm going to show you the in-depth map how to get there everything for you guys and so I'm going to cut, and we're going to see you at the farming location. See you then. All right, everybody, we're back after that cut. And as you can see, we are currently at a different location. I'm going to go ahead and show you on the map where exactly we are, what you're going to want to do, all the good stuff. So we're in Feralis, which is in Kalamundor. Yeah, I know I said it wrong. Post your comments in the description below, because I already know you're going to. Also, if you stay to the end of the video, there's a little, uh, a little wink wink at you, if you know what I mean. All right, so... We're going to go ahead and start the farm. Feralist, Kalamundor, Kalamdor, you know, honestly, I'm done saying it. But it's right there. Right there. Not too hard to get to if you're Horde. If you are Alliance, you have to take the ship. Sorry about that, everyone. Even though Alliance is my side. So, as you can see, what you're going to want to do is pop your bear tartar and also get your skinning knife out and your skinning ability and all that good stuff. But we're just killing these whelps right here. Now, what we're going to do... Just go ahead and pick up the, the copper or whatever they drop. They will drop certain things at certain points and like on their loot table. The loot table isn't like super big, but it's not super small either. So uh, it'll pick up a few like decent items that may sell for a couple hundred gold. But other than that, we're basically wanting the pet. And as you can see, they are kind of spread out quite far. So it's going to be kind of a pain in the butt for you guys to actually like make the trip, run up the bear tartar, and. Uh, go ahead and like find these things but once you do and after you get like a kind of rhythm going you're going to be set as you can see like all across this uh rocky outcrop area basically is where all these spawn 
So you can see there's one there, one there. As you can see, they kind of like aren't super common. But uh, once you kill these, here I'll kill one and then skin it for you real quick just to show you. But yeah, so you're going to want to get out of your flight form because you're not dumb. And I'm just clicking on this right now because I'm also holding a stopwatch. But we're going to pick up all the useless stuff that you do not need. And uh, you're just going to skin the body basically. And then that will give you a certain amount of like uh, different leather. But you'll also get a chance to get the scales in turn which will help uh, enormously with uh, the gold output that I've seen people make on this farm and uh, sorry I'm losing my trade of thought right now but it will help with the gold output uh, you're actually gonna make a decent amount of gold at this farm I've seen people make just like tons like I've actually seen people like show me their inventory and they've made uh, like two or three drops um, of the pets in just a, like an hour of farming and uh, it's not uh, crazy, and you guys actually have a good chance to make a ton of gold. I highly recommend you guys go check out this farm now before everyone else starts farming it. Just sitting here, uh, preparing like all my video notes and stuff. Uh, I've seen a couple people just come and go on this farm, so you gotta be careful before it's uh, taken like by everybody in the gold farming community because as you know as soon as I post this video and then everybody else starts posting this video then prices on this are just gonna slowly decrease and eventually become nothing like usual so as you can see just run around here try to kill all these that you can they do spawn all around obviously the best area that i have found to actually worry about like killing these things is we're gonna check the map right here i'll zoom in for you this little area right here it's just around here because this is like the biggest clusters that spawn are in this area and uh this area right here but other than that i don't really i mean unless you want to try another spot that's completely up to you well, these are just the spots I recommend. Uh, I've been doing this for a while, so you might want to be able to take my word for it. Wink, wink. All right, guys, so that's going to be the end of the video. Uh, if you like this video, you can like, comment, subscribe, do all that glorious, wonderful stuff down there at the bottom. Uh, also, if you want to subscribe, like, just know I will hand draw you a stick figure, and I'll mail it to you if you leave your address. And, yeah, or like a P.O. box or something, I can go ahead and send that to you. Just kidding, don't actually make a P.O. box. Actually, if I get like one email, I might like, I might send you like a, something I made in like art or something. Maybe. Just maybe. Anyways, that's it for the video. So everyone that doesn't want to hear the end of the thanks and all that good stuff, you can go ahead and leave now. If you actually care about me as a YouTuber and not just the content I make, you can go ahead and keep watching. Right about now. So guys... I'm back. I know it's been a little bit of a while. I know you guys didn't deserve to be waiting this long for another video, but you are getting one, and I believe that's all I could tell you about. Also, I'm going to show you a little secret area right here to start farming. Right here, a big clump of them forms, and uh, they respawn every couple minutes. So, if you are actually a loyal subscriber, you'll be able to see the little hidden spot at the bottom. And don't tell the other people, because they do not deserve it. Anyways, that's uh, that's about all I have to say. I'm sorry, uh, college is taking up a lot of my time right now. I'm trying to keep YouTube and a job and college, and it's kind of a struggle. But I think you guys will actually be able to appreciate some of the things I attempt to do for this community. And I know it can kind of be rough sometimes. And uh, I know it's like kind of hard to find, you know, good content. But I try to bring you guys some of the most. Uh, decent content that I can and I hope it uh, changes you for the better also I've had a couple of messages from people uh, just in my email and everything if you are thinking of starting a YouTube channel uh, I know it can kind of be like scary and you feel like you're not going to get any anywhere at the first point but I can tell you I was terrified when I first started doing this because honestly I didn't like I didn't want any of my friends to know or anything like that and I know that a lot of people are doing it and they have fun doing it and it's actually their job and uh, that's fully what I intend this to be and uh, if you are thinking about doing it I recommend you guys go ahead and just do it just know it's not easy you're gonna have to work really hard for it this YouTube has been one of the things that I have worked hardest for in my life and actually uh, just so over like past summer I was working so hard just videos every day and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and try to keep that up for you I'm not sure how viable it will be I know I'll get a, at least out one out a week. I'm hoping I can try to get it to like every day 
If not, I'm sorry, but that's the plans for the future of this channel, and I hope you guys like this video. Check out all the links in the description. There's cool, fun stuff, some not-so-fun stuff, but it's all fun in the end. And I love you guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.